Epic Games stated that they don't plan to allow in-person events until the second quarter of 2022. It's a good day to be a gamer. After two years of playing online and in our houses, we are finally playing in person. So we're super excited to announce that we're introducing Asia Pacific North, Asia Pacific South, MENA, which is Middle East and North Africa, and SSA, Sub-Saharan Africa. Um, these include countries like Saudi Arabia, India, Japan, and the, even the super passionate fan base in South Africa. Sweden the home of Rocket League's return. It was cold. December 2021 marked the first RLCS LAN in two years. It feels great to be back. Uh, it's been way too long. Two years is way too much for a LAN. And its return was legendary. Dre's up for the double, can't quite get it in step. Seiko can't get back to the 50 and fades back on oh. This incredible action-packed five-day event culminated in a grand final featuring North American powerhouses NRG and the champions of Europe, BDS. NRG lost to BDS on the first day, but had fought their way back and faced them again for a first place title and a $300,000 prize. Just an impression of second midfield. Now it's Murky Moon! Oh, oh. No. Top corner! That coming! Jump! Hope! Save a quiet! And to the other oh. side! Heartbreaker for NRG! Team in bad spots, but equally, James, we know oh. Gary oh. it! Extra! That's got BDS a 2 1 lead! Down, Justin, you cannot give him any chances, and immediately they score! <laughs> It's definitely chalk this time. Oh, it might be extra. <laughs> Garrett sets up. Has he got anyone around? It's off the wall. Who's there first? There is Squishy off the back one, one more time. Oh. Follow up. Nobody oh. there. BDS have got the first set. Wow, BDS take down NRG in style. After losing the first set, NRG went down two to zero in the second. To be answered. We're closing in on what could wow. be the final series. What a play, NRG connecting it in the final third, but now we're right away to the other end. It's Monkey Moon, he scores! And all hopes seem lost. Until... Until the team started smiling. Peaking at the right time, and Justin needs to peak for NRG. And this is what NRG need, finally a lead. I don't even remember the last time we had one for NRG, and that is the type of plays it takes. Zero reaction time, Important. and you see the reaction Smiles. from the players on NRG. There it is, haven't seen that in a while. That is brilliant to see. Even with no fans, with the introduction of new regions, roster changes, and players hungry for more, the community could not contain their excitement. And why would they want to? The community saw a somewhat return to normalcy and something they had been looking forward to for two years. Coming into the land, everyone's eyes were on five teams. Sandrock Gaming, FaZe Clan, Dignitas, BDS, and NRG. Let's focus on the first three for a second, and we'll start with Sandrock. Hailing from Saudi Arabia, this incredible powerhouse of a team had never been given a chance to compete on the RLCS stage. But looking at Sinzo, he's, we're winning. <laughs> yeah. we, we are winning, you need to stop us. And mm -hmm. for that type of confidence, I gotta go with Sandrock on that one. I think that they're gonna really pop right. off. They're gonna push G2 to the limits. It's a good chance for SRG though. Sinzo wants to double, he just missed this wide open for TRK. And Sandro came and opened the story. One more time off the backboard, Chicago. That's dangerous, first one there. Oh. But this time, he will not miss. It's a little bit safer, but still, G2 are under pressure. They've got two players gone. They just have to turn it on their players, and now it's nice to turn G2, but it wasn't enough. Now a chance to get to the other side of the field. It's off the backboard. Oh, because our man, it was enough nothing shot, but he's run oh. by the goalkeeper. With the addition of new regions, Sandrock finally had a chance to shine. And shine they did. Back and forth to both teams' posture for OT. G2 will quite happily take it. Sandrock, they don't want to go there. Ahmad! 
Thanks for another redirect straight into the G2 net. Three. Oh! Anticipate no more! Sandra Gaming have arrived! Middle Eastern Rocket League has arrived! And they have taken down wow. and swept G2 Esports! Let's move on to Dignitas. The European juggernaut was coming hot off their win at the BMW Rocket League Open, hoping to continue that upward trajectory at the LAN. Spelling out trouble for BDS, who Dignitas defeated at the Open semi-finals. And finally, FaZe. Having just entered the Rocket League scene in 2021, they were already taking no prisoners. Within less than a year of existence, they had taken a North American Championship, winning in October of 2021, beating one of today's stars, NRG. Even with NRG and BDS being favored to win for their regions, they had a tough road ahead. With so much drama, history, newness, and rivalry, the question wasn't what was going to happen at this land. It was, where can I watch? So it was with incredible excitement and anticipation that millions of people tuned in to watch an incredible five-day event. And when the dust settled, we were greeted with our dream grand finals. Welcome to the Stockholm Major Grand Finals, BDS against the General NRG. All caught up? Good. It was finally here. The culmination of two years of waiting. The two best teams in the world going head to head in a best of three series. Each series a best of seven matches. The timer counted down. The teams rushed for the kickoff and... Follow up, nobody oh! there! BDS have got the first set! BDS dominated the series, putting NRG down 1-0. Proving that not only were they a force to be reckoned with, but they could win the whole thing. You know what happened next. NRG fought hard, but the second series quickly turned in favor of BDS, as they went up 2-0 with incredible gameplay all around. What a play, NRG connecting it in the final third, but now we're right away to the other end. It's Monkey Moon, he scores! The one thing that we've never seen happen to NRG is for them to get dominated in a grand finals. So, going into game three, NRG needed to turn the tide. Trying to gain momentum when down 2-0 is hard enough, but 3-0? NRG couldn't let that happen. They needed a strategy. They needed a plan. And then Justin laughed. He finally a lead. I don't even remember the last time we had one for NRG, and that is the type of plays it takes. Zero reaction time, and you've seen the reactions Smiles. from the players on NRG. There it is, haven't seen that in a while. That is brilliant to see. They've decided that wasn't a strategical misplay, we just have to execute better. <laughs> and you know, for a moment, I was wondering, is this the Fall Major Finals, or is this the Fort style event? With NRG going crazy, and Squishy getting another goal for NRG. They actually think it's chalked, and that's the most dangerous <laughs> thing that's ever happened. NRG smiles everywhere, and Greg and keeps saying it. When a team is having fun, they are at their most dangerous. NRG somehow, I don't know how they managed to do it. They are having fun out there. All of a sudden, we see something that we have not seen since the very start of this. I feel like game one, okay, we can say that the NRG were putting it together, but since then, and I mean game one of the first series, all BDS, and it's BDS again, but unlike the other BDS goals, we are seeing NRG react with comms, smiles. They are gonna try and stay positive here. Will that be enough against the BDS monster? I, I don't know, because that pass, the lovely finesse from Monkey Moon, sitting up, marked smiling. by eight, and yeah. But for how long, Shogun? That's the question. Well, hopefully till the end of the series. That's what we all want to see. And NRG won their next game. Off the backboard. Oh, Whoa! Justin has entered the servers, everyone! <laughs> <laughs> NRG 
but gee, is this going to be the most talked about smile of the history of esports? Somehow, NRG have elevated their gameplay, and it's no secret, Justin has oh. been that code breaker. And this game is being played like it is the last one. You know, this is that swing game. NRG have to get it to come. Oh. Now 2-1, NRG had a fighting chance and used that to their advantage. It's going to be up to the lads over on BDS. Uh -oh. The lads oh. some questions. He places. No. Center ball comes in. It's still in the goal line. Both teams battled it out in game four, making insane plays and showing the world why they're the best of the best. You can see more smiles from NRG. It was a panic. You see Squishy side flipping and Garrett. Because we can it. Oh, the recovery's coming in. Another long shot. G did not see that one coming still. All smiles for NRG. They want the comeback. They've got exactly half a game to do it. I feel like this one has to pop up. I'm gonna be kind enough to him. Oh my. Oh, Whoa! Whoa! Yes, yes, look around, Justin. He can't believe it. But everybody in the house, well, else in the world knew that when Garrett gets it, he's so lethal. One, four, six, KPH. What a screamer by Garrett G. We've got another overtime on our hands. Another one that NRG desperately needs. Oh, that's not the best for oh. so There's extra. Oh. For OP. Monkey Moon sets one more time. <laughs> but NRG will recover. Well, finally, BDS make a mistake in offense. That would have been a goal earlier in the series. But now, the crossbar on NRG's team. NRG's new strategy seemed to work, and they went into overtime. BDS managed to pop one off, giving NRG the out. And they were still smiling. Now we enter game five, and the stakes are high. To claim the title, BDS would just have to win one more match, and being up three to one, the odds were truly in their favor. Few teams have ever come back from three to one, but to win the championship, NRG would have to reverse sweep and win the next series. The odds they faced were astronomical. The amount of strategy and planning required to pull this off was a monumentous task in itself, let alone the execution. And that made NRG smile even more and laugh harder. It was like the glass had shattered and on the other side was just carefree. It also took people by surprise and raised many questions. Why would someone in their position be happy? Why would a team with seemingly no chance of winning be ecstatic in their situation? Justin to keep NRG's hopes in it. They're gonna have to hold BDS off for a minute 50, but this is what NRG have to do. Garrett twisting, turning, there is Monkey Moon. Into the oh. mess. Do they miss? Rarely. One minute to go, Monkey Moon snipes the bottom corner against two pre-jumping defenders. They all think he's going high. Monkey Moon shoots low. There's that vision, and we've seen that. To everyone who doubted, NRG said, watch me. And using this momentum, they won their next game. Now getting a demo. Is it enough for NRG to work with? Oh, is it? Half Squishy finishes it off. It's not over yet. Everyone at home, strap in and get ready. We've got game six on the way. BDS, unable to do it at the first try. They've got two more. They put a lot into that game. They played well. NRG played better. And the next one. Right now, we only have two minutes left. BDS with a chance. Oh! Not only are they smiling, but also the gameplay speaks volumes. How many more of these has he got in him? Monkey Moon wanted to trust Mark Bay. Hey, Mark Bay ain't no quick enough. Off the back. Oh! Oh! Champions failed. Here we come. If we go to another series, all bets are off. And now it's 3-3. If NRG wins, they force a third series to decide once and for all who's the best in the world. If BDS wins, it's all over. And after a two-game win streak, NRG not only had the momentum on their side, but science. Numerous studies point to the idea that having a positive attitude actually helps increase good performance. According to a 2019 study from Leipzig University, even just talking to yourself before an event can boost positive attitude and overall performance. Some studies even state that our brains are up to 31% more productive when having a positive mindset. This was all to say it wasn't over for NRG. 
Far from it. 200,000 people watched with anticipation as NRG played their make or break game against BDS. The timer started as every Rocket League fan watched the ever-present orange numbers countdown. It was a hard-fought battle, but in the end, NRG just could not pull off a miracle. BDS are no longer the best team online in Europe! They lay claim to the best team offline in the world! As BDS rejoiced in their victory, NRG still knew they played an incredible series and kept smiling. NRG kept their heads high and walked to BDS's side to shake hands and congratulate the now champions. They left the arena, said goodbye to Stockholm, and headed back to North America. So what now? NRG continues to play at superhuman levels and BDS continues to blaze paths forward. Despite the loss, the happiness on NRG's faces will be remembered by fans around the world and remind us all that a smile can change everything. Each team now turns their eyes to regionals as they play, compete, and prepare for the next major in March. Maybe the outcome will change, maybe it won't, but that's a story for another time.